all right guys welcome back to the channel so uh wow what do i say uh thousand subscribers um i'd like to seriously just sit here and thank every each and every one of you by name but that would be impossible i mean you guys have just been so awesome you know i never thought i would be in the position of uh being you know this successful with the youtube channel because it's it's very difficult as many of you do know um it's got its highs and it's got its lows but then of course you've got your community which helps you out because uh it's one hell of a roller coaster i'm, I'm not gonna lie but uh yeah i mean to be able to uh become an official content creator per se to get that thousand i have done the four thousand hours too um that's quite an accomplishment and uh I couldn't have done it without you guys. I mean, you know, from the just from the sub, sub, subscribers to the everybody who has contributed, um, donated, sent in MREs, uh, gotten their friends to join. I thought that was pretty cool. Multi Magnum jumped in yesterday. Uh, the other uh, person, I'm sorry, I, I totally I can't remember your uh, your. Uh, your YouTube name, but you know, you helped me with the face Facebook group, throwing my channel out there. Smitty, Germs, uh, shoot, I mean, all the way down to uh, Victoria, uh, donating. She's been donating a lot, and uh, it's very helpful. Uh, it can be a little expensive, but hey, uh, this is for the experience. It's for the fun. Um, community has really come together for that thousand and uh i just want to thank you guys so um you know i was digging around in my closet today and uh just a second ago and i keep i don't know where these these minotaurs are coming from i keep pulling out minotaur rations i thought it was done like a months ago and uh lo and behold I, i'm what i'm about to show you i'm about to pull i, I pulled this one out and then I look in the very far back, and there's two more. Now, I have the... I think I have the Solo Overnights left. And then I have a 48, or it's a 24 that... 24-hour um, that a viewer, subscriber donated. And I haven't done that one yet. Um, but what we're going to do is... We're going to take out... We're going to check out this... Uh, we're going to check out this Minotaur, okay? And then... After this video, or after the review, I'm going to do a giveaway. And I'm not going to lie, there's some cool stuff in there. And uh, so you're going to want to stick stick around for that giveaway. I just want to do it in one video. So just kind of make it the 1,000 subscriber uh, special giveaway video. Something like that. Whatever. So, uh, so let's get into it, guys. Um, now... I was looking at this and I was wondering why it was taped. This is a lifeboat ration. This was the August 2022 ration of the month. And uh, I remember what happened. <laughs> it was a bummer. Uh, I went to go open the box or the package that this came in. And when I opened it, I cut a hole in it. So I just taped it. So... Let's see what it was that I did do. Because you can see, you can still see the tear notches. I didn't uh, actually open this. Let's, let's see what happened. Yeah, see? You can see what I did. You gotta be careful when you open these packages. Slid it right across. So anyway. Uh, I never looked in it. And honestly, totally free and forgot about it. I mean, this is all the way back in August of... Well, it's not really that far. Well, yeah. About a year. A year or more, huh? Anyway. Let's get ahead and look into this one, huh? So we're just going to sit over here. And we're going to pull out each individual individual item and go over it. So we got some sugar. One pack. It looks like we got a couple lifesavers. You know, <laughs> no pun intended. Lifesavers for the lifeboat survival ration. <laughs> Let's see here. Ooh, one of these. Yeah, they weren't that great. So I think these are the uh, 
Norwegian survival food bar. It was okay. It wasn't that great. It was like sawdust, basically. All right, so we got some more sugar here. A couple more packs. Regular, oh, well, what's this? Non-dairy coffee creamer. Got a pack of standard matches here. Ooh, some Irish black, Irish breakfast. I'm actually going to have that right now when we uh, plate this stuff. We've got another food bar here. So we got two of those. We got some strawberry Skittle drink mix. Those are those are always good. We've got ourselves a new Deliso caramel deep flavor crispy wafer. Oh, wow, that's interesting. See, this is the kind of... I mean, we've talked about this before. It was always cool about Minotaur having, you know, these international items. Oh, we got another one. And this one is going to be the uh, peanut nature taste. So this is a peanut one. And we have some garlic parmesan snack mix. Packaged on July 25th of 2022. So this one's going to contain almonds, pretzel sticks, peanuts, sunflower kernels, garlic, and Parmesan seasoning. And... Bag's empty. Alright, well, I'm going to keep it and use it as a garbage bag, of course. But, uh, I'm going to go heat up some water for this, uh, tea. I'm going to get some water for that uh, guy over there, and, uh, Throw everything out on a tray, shall we? All right, so we got everything out. Let's go ahead and get our uh, Irish uh, breakfast tea uh, brewing here. Oh, smells good. Let's go ahead and get that guy in there. Perfect. Okay. No, we don't need any of that. Uh, we got two of these, but I'm just going to throw one out. Uh, I, w I will go ahead... Whoa, these, this, was this broken, or is it in two pieces? Oh, this one was actually in two pieces. The one we had before was in uh, was one whole bar. What I was going to ask was, is if anybody... On the ch on the uh, on the channel here, has any Minotaur rations they would like to donate or sell? I'd be willing to buy them uh, for review of the channel. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, leave me a uh, message in the uh, email or my email address that will be uh, in the description. Um, they're really getting hard to find. I really can't believe I had, I had I totally forgot about these and we got a couple more. We definitely do. We definitely have a couple more, which is always exciting. And you know, usually I wouldn't do this, but just for the just for the show, just for tonight, because it's a special and we want to see these. We're gonna I'm gonna open both packs. And now what I'll do is I'll I'll put them in a Ziploc bag so that the wife can try them later and that they're not wasted. So I'll put out the, I'm going to leave this like this, and I'm going to set it over here. I really don't like to waste, you know, I try to eat as much as I can on these. I don't like to really waste food, per se. So. I do, really do as much as I can, but you, you really can't be eating, like, you know, I've done 300 videos. You can't, you know, if I was to eat, like, everything, oh my god, can you imagine? <laughs> My doctor would not be happy. Well, this tea bag's wanting to float here. Usually they sink after a while. But, uh, I'll have a spoon around. Let me go grab a spoon real quick. Alright, so, we got our spoon here. What I'm going to do is, so I'm actually going to use the, uh, Throw a pack of sugar in there. Now, I don't take cream 
with my tea. I never have. But I will put one pack of sugar in there. And yes, this is an MRE spoon. Actually, uh, the wife the wife refuses to let me throw these suckers away. But we use them, we reuse them for everything. And I mean, why not? I mean, look how durable these things are. You guys know. All right, so let's check out these uh, Norwegian uh, survival food bar. Maybe we haven't had this one, but I mean, they've all got to be the same, right? That's terrible. I'm sorry, but that's terrible. I mean, if you're hungry, you're going to eat it. Especially if you're on a lifeboat in the middle of the freaking ocean. It tastes like you're eating, like, sawdust. Like, for real. Oh, that tea is... Oh, that's good. That's really nice. This is terrible. Um, it's not like bad. It's just sawdusty. Not much flavor. Imagine if you're eating a piece of paper. It's probably what it tastes like. Um, let's go ahead and check out this uh, snack mix here. That was one thing about Bob's snack mixes too. Is I really liked them. They're like super fresh. And they got good seasoning. Mm-hmm. The almonds are really good. I heard on a talk show, Coast to Coast AM, um, George Norrie always says that if you, uh, he heard that if you eat six almonds a day, uh, apparently it'll keep cancer away from you or help with that somehow. I don't know if it's true. You guys listen to Coast to Coast AM? With George Norrie? And, uh, a really good show. I listen to it every night at work. Used to be Art Bell back in the day. Yeah, but that's I uh I got a earbud in my ear and that's what I do on my night shift is I eat I listen to him all night. Speaking of something my uh my survival bracelet here. Somebody commented, and it was a comment that I uh, I didn't see it somehow. And I was going through, uh, I was in the YouTube studio because I was checking out the 1,000 subscriber and what it has to do to, you know, send some things off to get approved and all that all your good stuff for uh, whatever it is, and, you know, the next step. And uh, I seen a comment that I hadn't read, and uh, so I, I opened it up and I read it. And it was regarding my compass. Okay. And I'm not going to say his name. He's lucky that I didn't post it. Because I was literally thinking of taking a screenshot. And posting it. Because if you're going to be. If you're going to be a jackass. And say things like you said. You know you, you need to be called out. But I'm not, not really going to do that. But this guy literally said. He does not understand. Why preppers wear compasses. Um. What are we going to do with them inside of a bunker? And that we should be using the shadows on the ground to guide our way. Um, and that <laughs> this was the best part. There's no room for us after the bombs fall. There's no room for peppers. It's basically what he said. I don't know why you meant by that. But the guy's not very intelligent because... Uh, if you're in a wooded area, forested area, jungle area, uh, at nighttime, if you're in the city, 
Uh, if you want to do covert ops in the middle of the night um, for uh, for whatever, reconnaissance, uh, you're going to need a compass. So the guy was a moron. I don't know why he said that. But I actually got this off of a Marine uh, veteran. Uh, I bought this on YouTube. Or, no, I bought this on eBay from him, uh, I would say, at least seven years ago. It's a... Uh, it's impregnated with, uh, it's got fishing gear and fishing line in here, and, uh, I really wish I could, uh, find that guy again, because, I mean, this has been the most awesome, I've been, as you can see, I have not taken this off, except for when I go to sleep, it's starting to break right there from the compass falling off, and to be honest with you, sometimes that compass is accurate, sometimes it's not, but, and see, actually, look, it's, uh, it's popping out right here. Yeah, but that guy's, I don't understand why you would comment something like that and basically say that there's no room for preppers after the supposed holocaust. Like there's going to, I don't know, it's just uh, the things that some people say, you know what I mean? It didn't bother me, but it's just uh, kind of funny, you know? So I figured, yeah, let's share the story with you guys. All in all, though, I haven't gotten a lot of hate mail uh, comments on YouTube. I have gotten a few. I've had people tell me I need to find something else, something else better to do. Uh, you know what? I open these and I don't remember which one is what. So we're going to test the flavor. That one kind of tastes like the peanut butter. Let's try this one. Yeah, this one's the peanut butter. Very faint. Very faint flavor. I'm really actually enjoying this tea. It has that, you know, soothing effect. These are really mild in flavor, but they're good. What's a date on? Do they have a date on here? We have a PD and an ED. I don't know what that is, but I'm assuming that's a 21 to 20, maybe 22 was the. Uh, Expiration date. Manufacturer. Uh, for a survival boat ration. For a one day. Better than nothing. You know what I mean? Better than nothing, that's for sure. Well, we didn't check out the, the strawberry Skittles drink. Let me go grab a cup. You know, interesting, one time, the first time I opened up a Minotaur, I'd never seen these Skittle ones. And uh, after I did that, well, not after I did the review, but I think it was that weekend or something, I was in the store with my wife. And uh, I saw them for sale, and I was like, oh, okay, well, cool, man, I'll grab some of those. These stupid little things are not cheap. By any means. Not for a little drink. Way not worth the price. Just. So. It's cool that we were able to. Know how they taste. They're pretty good. I'm not going to lie. They're pretty fruity. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Oh, super strong. We need some more, uh, we need some more water with that. It's good though. It tastes exactly like it should. Let's try the, uh, well, I don't know what this probably strawberry or 
raspberry or something. Anyway, we should probably clean this up so we can get on with that giveaway because I know you guys are really curious on to know what's going on here. And there's some good stuff, I'm telling you. You're going to want to see this. So let me clean this up and uh, we'll get everything out and uh, we will uh, show you guys what the uh, possibility of you uh, getting. All right, and we're back. We're at the uh, giveaway portion, and I'm still enjoying this tea. So, it's probably the biggest, one of the biggest giveaways that I've done, and there's some pretty good items in here, as you can probably already see. So the first one that's that's up is we got the cold steel uh, tie light knife. Um, I think we got this in a. Uh, uh, what was it? Barrel and Blade a while back. Uh, Barrel and Blade was giving out some good stuff, and then they were just giving out, like, literally made in China, and I just couldn't do it anymore. So, uh, well, it, it wasn't that it was just, it was made in China. I don't have a problem with anything made in China, but it was just stuff that's just not useful to me. I mean, I'd rather do the uh, Bud K knife, or Bud K box, because everything in there is useful. And I will use it. So, anyway, this is really nice, really nice knife. And uh, there you are, Taiwan. Very sharp. Very light. Very very light. You've got a. Uh, I don't know what kind of lock you'd call that. Frame lock. And. Uh, Centered. That's eh, okay. That could be a little better. Not too bad. Uh, but other than that, it's it's a pretty good knife. It is definitely a right-handed knife. I am not able to open this knife with my left hand. I have to do it like that because the thumb's on the other other side. But it opens pretty quick. Very quick indeed. Not bad. It's got good action. That's got a it's got a deep set pocket clip. Which is nice, non-reversible, but hey, all in all, it's cold steel. It's it's a nice knife. All right, so moving on. You guys deserve this, so I'm happy to to do this for you. Got to return the uh, turn the favor. So check out this. We've got ourselves an Olight. It's an Olight keychain. Mono output keychain LED flashlight. This is the i3 EOS. Uh, made of durable aircraft aluminum uh, with type 3 anodizing. The product is hard and anti scratch. Highlight transmissant TIR lens delivering a homogeneous beam. Compact and mighty flashlight developed for extreme design idea. Fully tighten the head to turn on the light. Slightly loosen the head to turn it off. It is a. It, it does come with a keychain on there. Uh, this is a 90 lumen flashlight for 45 minute time. It's uh, yeah, that's a nice light. So this one runs on a one triple or no, yeah, triple A, triple A battery. Uh, so anyway, so we've got that there. So it's kind of like a EDC kind of thing going on here. Uh, and then I'm gonna throw in this folding uh, camping spoon. That we got from the the, S, the SHTF box we opened the other day. And let's throw in the survival whistle as well. You can throw this in your bug out bag. Bug out starter kit. Or is your EDC. So that's it guys. Um, rules. Rules for the uh, giveaway. Uh, you have to be subscribed to the channel. Um... Because I got a knife in here, you have to be 18. Um, I don't have a problem shipping to uh, out of country. Because uh, we're not doing any MR MREs. If it was an MRE, that's why I'm not really doing them anymore. Uh, I've heard, some, uh, heard uh, some nightmare stories about that. And I just don't want to get into that. So, um, Luckily, there's none of that here. So uh, I can ship this to Canada, Ukraine, uh, wherever. UK. London, you guys don't need to worry about that. I shipped out a package to Australia the other day, so um, 
So yeah, uh, gotta be 18. Gotta be, you gotta be subscribed to be 18. Um, and the code word or what I want you to put in the description, let's just, uh, congratulations on a thousand. So just put that in there. And then if you want to put something else, of course you can. And then also remember to do not, uh, do not put any, don't, don't enter twice. Don't put anything twice. So if you're going to put, don't put several comments, just only one comment, because if you do, the comment kicker will kick, kick out all of your comments, not just one. So, um, anyway, that's it guys. This is for you. I appreciate you guys. You've gotten me to a thousand. We're going to get to, you know, two, three, four, five, whatever it is. We're just going to keep going. I really don't feel any, uh, um, slow down on this channel anytime soon. Um, as long as uh, I can keep bringing in stuff for you guys to check out, we're going to keep doing this and we're going to, you know, so anyway, this is one of many, and this is going to one lucky subscriber, some good stuff here. So anyway, guys, uh, remember, uh, congratulations on, uh, 1000, one, one, congratulations on 1000 or 1k, whatever you want to say, uh, in your, in your, uh. In your comment below. And, uh, yeah, if anybody's got any Minotaur or anything like that, or if you have anything that you would just like to send into the channel that you would like to get reviewed, or if you possibly have something for sale as well, I'm always down for that. Uh, don't, don't feel, uh, uh, you know, don't feel afraid, don't feel scared to ask me, uh, hey, I, you know, I, I paid money for this, I'd like to, you know, sell it, I don't, that's fine, don't worry about it, we'll work something out, so, um, anyway guys, um, thank you so much for stopping by. Like I said, I appreciate every each and every one of you. If you're new to the channel and you like this kind of co uh, content, uh, we do this all the time on this channel. Um, go ahead and get subscribed and hit that uh, like button. And uh, until next time, guys. Have oh, you know, I just woo 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 woo. We gotta we gotta get a, a date of when we're gonna. Uh, let's get let's just. I'm sorry. Let's get the, let this run for a week. Uh, today is Friday morning, so next Friday. Uh, we will draw the winner. All right, guys? So until next time, have a good one.